Hey guys, this is Lo, and today we will be talking about a Malaysian made knife by an up and coming knife maker by the name of Hot Rat Blades. The knife is called the Rat Smuck, and as the name suggests, it is of a Nesmuck design but in a slightly larger build. I do feel that the 7 inch blade in 012 steel does add to the multi utilitarian design. The steel itself is on the less stainless end of the two spectrum, which lends the blades better toughness, but of course, at the expense of some rust resistance and if compared to higher end combat steels, a little bit of edge tension. Now, prior to the trip, I did sharpen it up to an aggressive edge, and that is done by sharpening it from a 240 grit diamond stone and jumping straight up to a polishing stone with nothing in between. Now, this would give me, as the name suggests, a very aggressive, toothy and bitey edge. Although, I would say that the O1 steel would actually benefit from a performance edge, which is a 240 diamond grit stone again, going all the way up to a 10,000 grit polishing stone with all the stones in between to help with refinement and to bring the edge up to a very nice mirror. Now, this is especially beneficial to edge retention, especially when you are push cutting, chopping, uh, carving, task that this blade is generally designed for. As we can see, delimbing the bamboo is very easy, which is effortless, especially when the knife is sharp. larger sections of bamboo into smaller manageable sizes also proves to be quite effortless. Batoning through the knot is also not much of a problem but while going through the wood the high contact point might cause the wood to stick to the primary grind of the blade. I would class this blade as an excellent second category blade in a two knife system. If you're not familiar with what a two and three knife system is or the first, second and third category blade, do watch one of my previous videos. I do explain extensively on that. Now the blade is not too long that it is cumbersome, but it's not too small that it's not capable of at least some medium chopping and batoning. Although it is not suitable for clearing, in a pinch it would get the job done as well. Overall, I'd say this blade is actually very comfortable to use with minimal hot spots. It's definitely a reliable blade that would serve you well as a campcraft, bushcraft and a survival blade. Now, I can't wait for the blade to enter production. I know Hot Rat Blade is a little bit busy, but he will be manufacturing these pretty soon. Being a handmade knife, however, you can expect that there won't be many units available. So if you see it, don't wait too long to snag one up for yourself. I'll put the contact information of the maker in the description below so you can give him a call. I hope you guys found that entertaining and informative. Thank you for watching and if you have anything to add, please put it down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. We will be making more videos in the future. Do like and share this video to support us as well as the local craftsmen in Malaysia. You guys stay safe, stay sharp and I'll see you in the next video.